Hey dudes, it's Julianne. We are back at it with another monthly plan with me. It is the end of August and pretty much September at this point, and I want to go with a super fall rustic feeling theme. So I decided to go with field notes and like the really aesthetic kind that you like put in your journal and you like put dried flowers in it and a lot of collaging. You'll see. Super cute. But if you guys are here to plan with me, make sure you have your stationery ready. And if you guys are here just to relax, make sure you guys have a beverage a snack and let's get on with the video. Getting started with the cover page, I'm just going through some of these old books I thrifted and tearing out some pages. Guys, this is going to be my most collage spread I've ever done and if you've ever seen any of my videos, you'll know that I suck at collage. I find it extremely intimidating and personally, I don't really enjoy how many like materials you need in order to make like a whole spread based on collaging. I'm like a maximalist when it comes to doodling, but I actually do not like having like a ton of things, but I mean, that's a tangent. Anyway, we are getting out of our comfort zone and I am honestly very proud of myself. For this spread, I wanted some old looking paper in combination with some newish paper to get some range in color. And also I'm really going for that like old aesthetic, super used field notes kind of look. For the lettering, unfortunately, I'm still in New York and I don't have my calligraphy pens with me and so I had to make do with the other side of my Tombow Duo brush pens. So that's why my lettering is kind of whack here. Ideally, I wanted like super thin and elegant lettering to go with the vibes of the spread, but you gotta work with what you got, you feel? Next to the lettering, I'm drawing this cute little flower sketch, which will be a thing for the rest of this spread. Like I mentioned in the intro, this whole theme is inspired by field notes on flowers and like the idea of being that super cute girl to collect and dry flowers and make the little notes and sketches about them. And oh my god, like that idea is so cute, but I literally don't have the patience to actually be that person in real life, so I'll just pretend in my journal. For these drawings, I'm just being very loose and sketchy and I don't want precise lines. I want really scribbly, doodling in the margins of your chem notes kind of doodles. Also, besides the flower drawings, I'm also drawing these small little doodles to fill up the awkward space. They're just little acorns and leaves, which is so funny because, I mean, really, it's kind of dumb, but it's also funny because the whole reason how I came up with this theme was because, one, my original theme was like way too Halloween-y, so I am excited to show you guys that in October, but I have to wait. I'm not the best at waiting, but we will wait because it's a brilliant theme. But two, I had people try to guess my theme on Instagram, but the filter I was using was like this acorn beret, which made me realize I look really good in berets, but also had me like, like second guessing my theme because everyone kept guessing acorns. And I was like, oh my God, acorns are kind of cute. And then I had like this little crisis about my theme and it led me here. And I mean, like the theme still isn't acorns, but I feel like this theme is like acorn forest adjacent. You know what I mean? So I also had to include some little acorn doodles here and there just to, uh, I guess, satisfy that little craving in me. And also, I don't know, like I felt so nervous that everyone kept guessing acorns. I'm like, I have to put acorns somewhere. So they're here. And that's really like no one else's fault but my own. I like peer pressured myself into doing this. And I still think the theme is super cute. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm really talking about. I'm so sorry. But anyway, on the left side of the cover, I'm actually creating my calendar spread. <gasps> Blasphemy, I know. But right now my work calendar has kind of taken over my life. So I do most of my scheduling online to be able to share with my coworkers. But also I'm just currently working better with a digital calendar because it allows me to have a little bit more flexibility and like I can move things around which is nice for my ever-changing schedule. And I mean I still want some sort of smaller calendar in my journal so that I can glance at it when I'm doing some daily planning or daily journaling. I feel like integrating digital planning with analog is kind of important for the longevity of bullet journaling if that makes sense. Like if you want to continue bullet journaling you have to find a way to make things work for you. I feel like a lot of people quit when they try other things or because doing everything analog stops making sense to them. And I mean, I get a lot out of planning through my bullet journal, but I also find a lot of use through digital services. So I think the trick is to somehow find a balance between the two and being open to allowing yourself to try things. You don't need to commit 100% to something. You can always, you know, find some wiggle room and see what works for you. And like, I'm really not trying to make a why I quit bullet journaling videos, so we'll see how this calendar combo works for me. Oh, also, I'm so sorry, that kind of makes it seem like I'm gonna quit bullet journaling. I never will, it is my creative outlet. It makes me so productive, but 
I just don't want to like burn out and be like, this doesn't make sense anymore. Anywho, moving on to the tracker spread, I'm making tiny calendars and I know, I know, I'm sorry. I literally am doing everything that I hate or it's unnatural to me in this spread. I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know who I am. I don't know if I'm okay anymore, but I just thought the idea of doing little tiny notebooks would be so cute for a field note spread. So the tiny calendars are staying. But also, it's not like I'm drawing a million little tiny numbers. They're just really boxes. And I know I'm justifying, but ugh, I know, I know. Collage and tiny calendars. I don't know who I am. But I guess it's always good to try new things and circle back to things that you thought you didn't like. And okay, I mean that logic doesn't apply to everything. I wouldn't recommend circling back to like a dumb significant other that you used to have. Definitely leave that BS in the past. But like olives. I used to hate green olives, and now I kind of dig them, so let's see if these tiny calendars are like my green olives. For the rest of the spread, I'm just doing some more collaging. Question mark on if that's a real word, but I have to say that this spread is like way less drawing than what I usually do, but it took me way longer to plan because of spacing things and just trying out different layouts took so long. I know I keep talking about this, but I am so envious of people who just have like a natural eye for collage. And so if you're like a collage connoisseur, please don't be mean to me in the comments. I'll literally cry. I'm so insecure about gluing paper properly. But actually, if you can, leave like advice in the comments below for me and for other people who are like me. And I know I've asked for this before, but now that I'm like dipping my toe into this world of collage, I would like to have some advice. On the other side of this tracker spread, I am again just gluing down all the scraps first and then using a scrap piece from my journal to lay on top to create some more depth and also just a more generally more interesting layout. This is going to be my content calendar, but also my shops and commissions calendar. I do have one of these digitally, but again, I just like having something to glance out while I'm trying to figure out my days, but also to help me jot down my thoughts and goals in terms of the content and like shop stuff I want to do for the month. Speaking of which, my shop is currently closed right now, but I am planning a huge fall drop and reopening of my shop mid to late September. So all these themes that I've been creating throughout the summer will be available then, but also some cute fall sheets, food sheets, and even anime sheets, which I've been wanting to do for so freaking long. If you guys have any suggestions or requests, definitely let me know in the comments below and definitely scroll through and like each other's suggestions because the one with the most love will probably come to life. So definitely do that. I just said definitely like 30 times in two seconds, so I apologize for that. I really wanted to say I definitely apologize for that. Ugh. I don't know why it keeps coming out of me. I am so, so sorry. To top off the page, I'm just quickly adding in another little acorn doodle. And like the more I look at it, the more I like want to do an acorn spread, but also not because they start looking weirder and weirder to me. It's like that feeling when you look at a word for like a little too long and like the way it's spelled and the way it looks and you're like, that's not a real thing. Even the way it sounds, you're like, this can't possibly be real. I'm having that with acorns right now. And now we are finally moving on to the weekly spread and I'm going with a Dutch door spread because I mean, if I didn't do it with the calendar, then I had to put it somewhere else because I'm just addicted to the functionality and they're so, so cute. On the sides of the spread, I'm just doing what we've been doing and adding in the collage aspects, but also the little flower drawings. With these guys, you guys can get as creative as you really want. I want to go with some foliage, but also a focus on wildflowers because in my head, this imaginary cute girl that collects and studies flowers on her spare time or for a living, who knows, does this in like wild flower fields and doesn't get attacked by ticks because she is just that girl, you know? That stuff just doesn't happen to her. And like, am I the only person that thinks that when they see like a pretty field of flowers or just like any kind of field? I'm always like, wow, that's so pretty, but there are hella ticks in there, so I'm staying away. And I recently rewatched Twilight again and oh my god, they be laying in so many different fields that I'm like, I really hope you guys checked out Bella because that is Lyme disease. And again, sorry for the tangent and rant about ticks, but I don't know. That's just what's on my mind right now. And I hope you can either relate or you learned something today. You know me, just full of educational content. <laughs>
I'm also adding like this little broken outline to where the planning occurs so that there is some nice little sections going on. I just think it looks nicer to the overall layout. And I'm also adding in this like little to-do section but in the form of a tiny notebook because I'm obsessed with tiny notebooks, I admit it. I like drawing things that don't make any sense to the page but they look so cute. And I don't, it's probably obvious now but I'm just obsessed with all things cute. I always tell people I'm just trying to live the cutest life possible because that's all I want. I just want everything to be adorable all the freaking time. And yeah, that's like not how the world is, but you know, I can try to make it as cute as possible, starting with my journal. But anyway, after I'm done with this drawing, I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape everywhere and that is it for this spread. Thank you so 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 much for watching it means the whole world to me and if you guys want to see anything else from me check out the description box below it has my instagram account pepper cut studios which is my sticker shop my actual sticker shop will be linked there but it's actually under maintenance right now so the link probably doesn't work um any codes all down there supplies all down there if you guys like my video make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment because i love the freaking comment section and if you guys want to see any other videos from me make sure to subscribe to my channel i think that's it bye